What's going on guys? It's your boy BY here with BY Creations, man. And today we got a special vlog for you guys, man. NLE Chopper! Yeah, my boy, man. Mr. Welcome Down himself, man. We did a painting for him. And we're gonna show you basically the beginning to the ending process. So all the way from when I got the canvas, started painting on it, to when I actually gave it to him himself. And he was very happy and ecstatic to receive it, man. And it was just a good time at the event. So stay tuned, you wanna see all of that, man. Don't miss it, and we finna get right into it. Mm. Louis Cajun. Yeah, guys, so. Mr. Chopper, Chopper, Chopper. Okay, let's get it started. So basically, guys, I'm just starting off right now with a uh, with the background and uh, the darker colors. I like to use the darker tones and the uh, uh, shadows to basically just get a feel of what I'm where everything is, where the where the light lies on people. Uh, but yeah, basically, we just. Moving along, putting the background like the purple color, cause you know, I think me and Chopper like purple as well. You know what I'm saying? Purple, my favorite color as an artist. But yeah, so we went with the purple background. Um, and sometimes different. Everybody do their own version of how they paint. Uh, sometimes I start with the background. Sometimes I start with the actual piece, the face, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But just want to start with the background. Makes me feel like I get a little more accomplished, I guess, you know. But yep, as we keep on moving along. And basically, uh y'all guys might leave a comment in the comment section. What kind of what's y'all favorite L and E chopper song? What y'all like? I like walking down. I also like uh too rare. I think this is song. I don't know. I can't remember, but it's another song you got. You know what I'm saying? shade of brown as you can see his face coming out a little bit a little bit better and then we're gonna move on to the next area just filling in those like small highlights and, and things to connect his neck and hands together so it's one piece and not different separate body parts over here I want to make sure everything is correct proportionally correct highlights are where they're supposed to be middle tones where they're supposed to be and I also have like an abstracted type of style as well so yes it looks 
it's a realistic style, but it's also abstracted. And I put my own touch on it. I like to put different waves and different shapes of color to kind of bring things out and, and also pull things together and connect things. As we move around, work around, Lewis Cahoon. Lewis Cahoon. And here guys, I'm just moving on to the to his mouth area, putting the highlight on his on his lip area so they can bring it out and you can kind of get the, the real facial structure and the real facial um, 
gestures, basically, of, of Chopper. And I'm, I'm kind of starting a little early here by adding a highlight. But this is kind of like what I was ref referring to earlier about my style. I just kind of like do different, like, different shapes and different to break up the composition, to break up the face, and to show different shades and different um, tones and different planes of the face and where the light may hit or where the light may not hit. As I'm filling it in, working just like a coloring book, I kind of set it up like that. I leave the spaces sometimes white or I just kind of do a middle tone and come back over top with the highlight you can tell basically that it's a different plane of the face by when I add the highlight to it. As I bring out the cheeks, feel it in the hands and everything.
at home. Okay guys, moving along. And I just wanted to go something totally different. Wanted to do the slime green, you know, lime green, just something to bring it out, something just rock star, you know, so. Went with it, with the head, with the hat. As you can see, I just basically painted it all there. And then we come with different shades. As you can see, the crevices and creases in the hat. Those are where obviously it's a little bit darker. So we come with a little bit darker green to bring out those creases, show the depth in the hat. And it just is it also just adds to the face as well. And it pops. It really pops on that purple against that purple. Close to a complementary color in yellow. Because yellow is purple's complementary color. But not quite because it's we we chose green. But you can you can kind of still see how I can play off of it as we color in all of the white spaces. Lewis Cattles.
Louis Calhoun. And now we're adding the whites to the grill and the lip. Giving it this shine that the light is bouncing off of. And we're also adding highlights and white to the ring that he has on his fingers and to his chain. Some areas of the chain to bring it out a little more. As we're coming along and you guys, man, y'all tell me what y'all favorite NLE Chopper song is. Like, y'all got a y'all got a, a favorite song of his. Uh, uh, mine person is Walk em Down. You know what I'm saying? I also like Camelot. Uh, you know, being from Memphis, you know what I'm saying? So I can relate to a couple of those songs a little bit better. But yeah, y'all leave it in the comment section. Let me know uh, what, what's y'all favorite LNE Chopper song, man. As we move along, Louis Calhoun.
now guys we're coming with the highlights in the chain and then white in there on the top and on the sides where the light is hitting the actual plane of the chain bringing it out the highlights and we're gonna come back with a light light super light gray try to play off of that that platinum Now we're working our way back up to the hat area. And we're just basically just darkening up all our darks, crisping up our lines, reiterating our shadows. dark green I was telling you guys about and we're just basically reiterating those dark shadows bringing a little depth to the hat showing those creases making sure that you understand that there are actual folds in the hat <laughs> and actual creases in the hat as we move on to the side of the head you can see it's a, it's a little bit darker that's the light not too much light hits this side. So we wanna play on that. Just come around. This is one of my favorite parts of the, of the piece, basically like, once I add the, the final touches and the, the shadows and reiterate the shadows and highlights, it's basically done. Like, And like the more I do it, the quicker and quicker I get. The quicker and quicker I get. It's just like very fun with it. So you know. And as we hit it with the blow dry, we come back with our third green. It's like a medium tone green. Sometimes, like I told you guys, I do my shadows and shades and highlights in different different sections. I may start with the shadow darkest. I like to prefer to start with my darkest darks and work my way up to my lightest lights. But sometimes I may put a middle tone in there and start with that. Or I may put a, a, a highlight in an area just so I can remember. It just depends on what I'm feeling, um, how I want to start the piece, how I want to complete the piece. But basically here on the hat, I'm coming with that middle tone green and it can kind of give you a better structure, a better structure of the hat form and where the light actually falls on the hat. 
as it gets darker, as it goes to the side and the back of his head. And when you put that middle tone in there, it really, really brings the picture more alive, makes it a little more realistic, makes you understand a little bit more uh, about light and darkness and paintings and in photos and where the light actually will lie and fall on a person. Lewis Cahoon. dripping it everywhere and then I came back with some dark greens to reiterate that as well just with some little dots some little, little little pokes right there to kind of basically bring out that that string effect in the hat as you can see I'm just basically just dot 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 just to give a fig a lot of stuff in painting is about tricking the eye giving it an illusion so you can really just a stroke of the hand or basically like a slap of paint on the on the canvas or the way you you brush something on can literally represent a hair string or you know movement in a in a photo in a, in a painting you know what i'm saying that's how you can play that into real life and trick the eye so basically, I'm just basically giving a little more dots. And I play in the background a little bit with this as well. Coming on around. Just dot, dot, dot. And structuring my background a little bit more. And now I'm coming with the drips. 
this is my favorite part. So anytime you see me dripping, <laughs> drip. No pun intended, even though I be dripping though. But y'all know B White got the B White Creation clothing line as well. I'll be dropping some more vlogs on it too. So y'all stay tuned. But basically, anytime I'm dripping on a painting, I'm basically done. And I just go crazy with it. Kind of like showing like an explosion or something coming from his head. Like a colors, an explosion of colors coming from his head and like a, a, a little line going around basically. As you can get close up and see like all the drips and some of these are playing some of these are not sometimes I just go in and I just drop 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 sometimes I'm like okay I may drop over here I may drop over there but most of the time it's not playing I just kind of let it let it do what it do and I come with different colors as well on top of it and I love when they mix together when they're still wet they mix together and they kind of morph into each other and you get this cool little fit of different colors and shades. So then sometimes I come back with the brush. Boop, boop, boop. Just drop it on there. Do, do, do. Hand taps. And I don't, I, I really don't even, like once again, I, 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 I slightly plan, but not really. I just let the brush and the art move me. So I just, ugh. you know, <laughs> let my wrist do the work, man. So, and I come with another color, with another drip. Just to bring it out, man. Why not? Why not? Come with another color just to kind of make it look a little more crazier. This red, pinkish color. And I'm just laying it on, just dripping it on. And I had a very, very good time doing this. I was very relieved when I got to this process. I'm like, okay, I'm done. Basically. You can see the, the little tattoo on his hand. actually like another purple another shade of purple but yeah and I kind of did a little drops on this grill to kind of give it an ice ice effect ice box effect you know <laughs> and I just dripped a little bit on this on this chain just to make it look very very crazy man then I added a little yellow Complimentary color is what I talked about in the beginning. Bring it out a little bit. Put a little more in this chain off to the side. Just to fill in those gaps and those open spaces of purple and, you know, underneath his hands. Kind of represent the jacket and shirt. And it's going crazy. I just like to have fun. And my favorite, favorite of all time parts of any painting it's the signature, the actual B.Y. signature. It don't get better than that, baby. It's official right there. Anytime you see that snap, it's official, man. So, just making sure, I like to do it like a two or three times to make sure it's in there. And I dry it up. And that's it. That's it, that's how we like to do it. This basically is just an overview of the painting. Just showing you guys the final product and everything, all the details, all the splats and everything, guys. So this is just what this is. And man, I appreciate you guys for coming to the end of the video. And like, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this. You know what I'm saying? Support your boy. I'm out here trying to show these folks what I be doing.
tuned, you know what I'm saying, with this art behind the scenes and stuff like that. But stay tuned, I'm gonna show you guys the bump down. So when I actually give it to Chopper, and the shout out, and the love, and the pictures, and all that, the good, the good, the good. So shout out, Chopper, and appreciate that, man. Watch this. Oh, you say you got some art for me? Huh? Okay, then. Come on, bro! It's hard. Come on, bro! Thank you, brother.